everybody. So there is a distinct lack of good movies out there right now. Um, I went to see Apollo 18, but it stopped playing like the day before. Apparently it got really horrible reviews anyway. Um, say la vie. So today I'm going to do my top five recommended current TV shows instead. Um, because it's kind of like movies. So the first one uh, is Castle. Uh, it just started again. I think this is its fourth season, I think. Um, the season is really good so far. Uh, the, f the last two episodes I watched, one was based around uh, vigilantes. They're pretending to be superheroes. Because you can't really pretend to be a superhero, can you? I'm not sure if you can pretend or if you just are. Or if it takes some sort of something to call yourself one. I don't know. The philosophy of being a superhero. Um, it was cool. And then another one was about cryogenics. And uh, the issues around it. And they were freezing this guy, but they needed the guy to figure out a murder. Very, very awesome, again. Um, so Castle, I've always really liked. Um, there's always really gross and cool murders that happen. And Castle is just, he's funny. It's Nathan Fillion from Firefly, which is my absolute favorite TV show of all time. Um, that's why I even started watching it, because I adore him. So I definitely recommend Castle. It's my number one show right now. Um, another one that just started is Dexter. Again, awesome. Um, the premise of Dexter is that he has the mind of a serial killer. He's a sociopath. And so his dad trains him to use this sociopathy for good rather than for evil. And so he kills people who harm others. Um, this season is dealing with issues of religion, um, which is kind of neat because Dexter's an atheist. And so he's get facing these questions. And um, he's actually going to be sending his son to a Catholic school, and it looks like the main villains for this season uh, have some religious motivation, so that's fun. Um, I always like a good religion theme. My third TV show, uh, this is kind of a cop-out because it's actually not running right now. It, it runs in the summer. It's True Blood. Um, and I... You know, True Blood gets a, a lot of bad rap, but I love it. Um, Sookie drives me crazy. Uh, I can't stand her. Um, but the last season, it was no better than the other seasons, but I think they're all really good. You have vampires, and Sookie's apparently a, a fairy. Um, werewolves, panthers, shifters. It's all, it's, you know, there's so much going on. Witches. Uh, it just makes for a really interesting um, story that happens because there's just so many things happening. Um, I would prefer it if Suki would just vanish, but I don't think that's going to happen. <laughs> but the books, which I've also, I've just started listening to the audiobooks, they're also really good. So if you prefer a good book over a good TV show, then um, True Blood. There you go. Um, my number four TV show Walking Dead, which hasn't started yet. It starts next week, I think. Um, but the first season, really good. It's really short, so if you haven't seen it yet, you have time to watch it all before season two starts. Um, there is an apocalypse of sorts, and there's zombies. I love a good zombie movie. Uh, so, you know, to see it in a TV show, very cool. Seeing how the survivors are avoiding the zombies and the, the methods that they take to survive. It's very neat. Um, and then number five, um, which, you know, it's my number five. It's at the bottom of my list because we don't know where it's going yet. It's new. Uh, and that's Terra Nova. First season started on at the end of September. The premise seems really good. Uh, it starts out in the future, and there's some cool environmental themes, and then there's a time travel device in Chicago that people take back to the Cretaceous period to start over. Um, what I like about it is that they sort of, is that they, you know, 
they try and make it sound really real. Uh, that's I love that. Uh, so they're talking about that when you do the time travel that they do it in an alternate alternative timeline to avoid paradoxes and stuff. It's like, oh, they thought about everything. That's neat. Um, and so then they go back to give humans a second chance, basically. And then it's fun because they're with dinosaurs. And I love dinosaurs so much. I think that they're so fun. Um, and then my runner-up TV show is Game of Thrones. It's a runner-up because it doesn't start until next April. So season one was really good. If you haven't seen season one, then definitely watch it. Um, but it doesn't number two doesn't start until April, so that sucks. Um, it's been too long since the first season came out, really. Uh, and I hear the books are good, but I haven't actually read them. So that's it. Those are my top five. I think that they are all skeptical. They all have kind of good themes. They're you know, interesting to watch. They're not typical. And it's five very different shows. So, um, yeah, if you have some time, uh, most of them, Castle, Dexter, True Blood, they all have at least four seasons each. Um, Walking Dead just has the one, and Terra Nova just started. So, yeah, there's some stuff to do, because there's no good movies out right now. Bye-bye!